Hey folks, Redneck Vapor here. Got a video for you tonight, Saturday night. Give you kind of a sneak peek of what I got coming. I may even do a juice review here real quick. So, uh, hope you enjoy. Let's take a look at it. talking about a few upcoming items that I will be reviewing and uh, a couple of juice reviews and stuff here and there. I've got quite a bit of stuff here on my list of, of wants, should I say. But uh, that's all part of the fun of vaping is uh, you, you save so much money by, by quit smoking that uh, you can afford to grab up a few things here and there. See, I just celebrated my 90 days being off cigarettes and uh i've got this little app on my phone where i keep up with all the uh the money and everything that i've saved let's see if i can find it here real quick kind of give y'all a look at what what i saved since i quit smoking which i bought up a few things here and there but none of it's going to add up to this total i'm fixing to show you statistics see look at there I don't know if you can see that, but I'm almost to $600 I've saved in three months. So, woo! I should be about due for a good, good size gift. Don't know if it'll be a Pro Vary, but I've had to stop myself two or three times this week from ordering one of them because they've got a couple of them on clearance right now. I think a blue, a blue one. Uh, Blue, purple, and pink or something like that. I was eyeballing the blue one. They had the blue and a, a satin blue. They had a, a mini version of it too also on there. Like 160 bucks or something like that. Which is not 200 but it's still. I've had several folks tell me that I would not regret it if I get a Pro Vary. So maybe that's, that's on my wish list. But it's not going to happen right now, folks. But anyway. Well, let's see. 93 days been quit so far these are little handy deals to get y'all y'all look on their google play or your apple store or whatever kind of phone y'all got going on there see if you can't find you some kind of app to keep up with this stuff tells me how many cigarettes i hadn't smoked all that good stuff anyway off of that let's see juices 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 i've got i've got a ton of juice folks I don't even know where to start on that. I, I bought up a bottle here and there, left and right. There was this Black Friday, I went all out and ordered a couple of deals where they had 20% off and stuff. So, oh, let me show you something the wife got me for Christmas. CD case? No. Voila! It holds your juice bottles. <laughs> Isn't that neat? That goes to show you just how much I got right there that I hadn't showed you as far as what, what juice we got going on. Picked up another flavor of Uncle Junks. I'm going to give a whirl. This one's called Belgian Berry. Not real sure what that's going to be, but we'll find out. Uh, what else do I got here? Other things that I've acquired here and there. I'm going to throw in a quick juice review here. I talked about this on a video or two or before there. Got the uh, Time Bomb Pixie. Time Bomb Vapors Flavor Pixie. Now, I've had this for a couple weeks now, and I've done bought another bottle or two. Really impressed with this juice. I mean, it's got to be the manliest vape out there, I'll tell you. <laughs> Not really, but anyway, I'll tell you about it. Let's see, I've got some here in my Pro Tank 2 on the Z-Max. Let's see, what am I running this at? Got on 11 watts right now. Got a 1.8 ohm 
coil in here that I built earlier today. I probably should have recorded that. I, I'm got a. I'm making a video here pretty soon. As soon as I get my my canthal in, the wire I got, I really really am not sure what gauge and if it's even canthal. I bought it at the brick and mortar and it's a plain bag pretty much. So I really don't know what it is. But uh, I've got some 28 gauge coming, so uh, I'm going to have a video up soon. It's coming soon, folks. I'm going to rebuild these heads. I'm going to show you how I do it with some peaches and cream yarn. So, got some pixie. Some manly pixie in this tank right now. Let's have a vape. You see the vapor production is awesome with this. I looked everywhere, everywhere online trying to find out what the PG and VG levels were in this liquid and I didn't find it anywhere. I found the site that sells it and uh, nowhere on it did it have it 70, 30 or 80, 20, nothing. Didn't have nothing. Me just guessing from experience of other liquids and just looking at the thickness, I'd say it's a 70-30 VGPG, folks, but that's that's just my opinion. I, I, that's all I got to tell you about it. I can't tell you anymore because the websites won't tell me either. I can't find it. But anyway, it's got a pretty solid throat hit. It's kind of mellow. It's not... This really big thump to the back of the throat or anything like that but of course this right here is six milligram I, I'm trying to step down on my neck strength a little bit especially with the liquids that I drip with and this one right here is one that I drip with quite often folks quite enjoy dripping this but tonight I got it in a pro tank too and uh, I'd say the flavor is a little bit muted but it's not not that bad as far as flavor goes it's a uh, As far as the flavor goes, it tastes like a pixie stick, folks. It's like a sweet tart, uh, those fun dips type of, the, you know, it's got kind of a grape taste in there, too. Kind of a grape, strawberry, you know, it's like a pixie stick. It's pretty much, pretty basic. It's got that tart to it, that sweet tart taste to it, too, so... That's what I, I really like about it. I like sweet tarts. I like pixie sticks. So, uh, that's pretty much my review on pixie. If you like stuff like sweet tarts and pixie sticks, go pick you up a bottle, folks. Uh, I'll put the uh, web address in the crotch box down there on where you can find it. And uh, that'll be it on my review of the Time Bomb Vapors Pixie. It's got a cool little skull on there. Glass bottles, folks. It's got an eye dripper thingamajiggy in there, too. Doesn't it? It's not a childproof bottle, though. Come on, folks. Childproof these bottles. It's got nicotine in it. Anyway, that's my review of Pixie, folks. Anyway, what else have I got here? Oh, I got. I picked up a new octopus, which, uh, strange to say, folks, that's what they said it was. I opened it up and I can build dual coils on this one. This one had three posts in it instead of two like the uh, first octopus I bought. Hmm. Maybe this one's not called the octopus. I'm going to do a little bit more research on that and I'll let y'all know what it really is. I, I don't know if that's just a new version of the octopus. Who knows? I hadn't seen anything out there about it. So I will keep you posted on that. Uh, what else? Let's see what else have I got here? I picked up a new tank the other day. Just one of them ones. I'm trying. I'm chasing the chasing the flavor. I guess I'm trying to find a a good, easy to carry with me when I'm going to work type of system going on where I'll enjoy it all the time. I picked up one of these Kanger T3s. Not real sure what to think about this one, folks. It's kind of well, let's have a vape.
it does pretty good as far as vapor goes. I, uh, I'm a big EVOD fan. And I really like the EVODs when it comes to something to pick up and take with me. And this one right here I thought would be a lot, a lot like the EVOD with a, a bigger juice capacity. I think this, this one holds two and a half, three, three mil, something like that right there, three milliliter. But I'm gonna have to throw a rebuilt head in there and I I'll, I'll tell y'all some I'll tell y'all some more about it later on, but Right now I don't know if I got a faulty head in there or what, it just ain't performing the way I want it to. Let's see what else. Got a bunch more e liquids I'm gonna do reviews on eventually. I've got one here, kinda like the uh juice that I'm fixing to review for, or that I've already reviewed for y'all. See if Vista Vapors take on on what I just reviewed will be similar or not. I don't know. I hadn't tried it yet, but we'll be coming. So, just like to take this time to thank all of you that subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I do all this in my free time just for fun. Kicks. Y'all that checked out my recent video on the uh, vein of sausages, I hope y'all enjoyed that. That was just a just a strange idea I came up with and I just did it for your entertainment and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like what you see, please rate my videos. Uh, comment if you like. If you got any questions, put them in the crotch box. I'll answer them the best I can as soon as I figure out how to reply to the comments on Google. I, I It's a wild goose chase with me. I go there, I go here, I go there, and I still can't seem to put the comment underneath y'all's comments, so I'm really sorry about that. If, if anybody's got a link to something that might explain it a little better to me, please put it in the in the uh, comments below so I can figure that out and be able to reply to y'all's comments in a decent way other than just me putting another comment in there but anyway uh, I think that's all I got for you tonight just let you know I got I'm gonna rebuild some heads and um, the videos coming up on that so uh, if you haven't subscribed come on subscribe subscribe I don't have any of my videos monetized, so it's not like I'm making any money or anything like that. So, y'all just come on, come on over to Redneck Vaporville, as I can say. Let me show you how it's done, vaping redneck style. Till next time, Mrs. Redneck Vapor, y'all keep on vaping, and I'll see you next time. Hey folks, Redneck Vapor here. Saturday. Ah. Ain't got no beer. Ah. Let's see it. Who says you can't cloud chase with an ego battery?